photographic memory makes you so smart. You are such a prat. Is that all you think I am? Oh, that's a all prat? you will ever be. You come in here acting like you want to do what's necessary, but you don't know what you want. Can't look beyond the end of your broomstick. Alice, please, calm down. Oh, calm? Oh, I'm calm. I've never been more calm. I'd hate to see her when she's not. That's not helping, James. Oh, and you! You act like school is the only preparation we need, but you've got a bit of extra help when it comes to defending yourself, haven't you? Alice! How dare you! What's gone into you? We were discussing the prank, and now I'm not sure we should do it. No, what about Sirius? There are bigger things than Sirius Black's birthday, Lily. Yes, but don't you see? That's the whole point. They can't take that away from us. Exactly. There's just a lot- Oh, don't tell me the great James Potter is backing out of a prank. Fine. I won't. You really shouldn't use that word. This is exactly what I'm on about. You all can't think beyond some stupid schoolyard prank when there is a war happening beyond these walls. That's not what I'm saying at all. Lily, I've had enough of that eternal optimism today. Take that back. Well, hey, hey. What Alice is trying to say is that we can't ignore that there are bigger things going on these days. We have to be ready. So now you're on her side. I'm on the Order's side. I'm on Dumbledore's side. I'm on humanity's side. And I'm not? It's more complicated than that, mate. We're all on the same side. And it's not as if we must all go one path or the other. Applying too much concentration will crack us, right? The eleventh hour principle. Good for spells, bad for humans. If any of us had our priorities straight, we would be out there right now fighting with the Order. And Frank might still have a father. I think you should go. About time. I'm not apologizing, if that's what you want. Oh, well, none of you apologize. Except for Remus, and he apologizes before he's even done anything wrong. I just can't have you running off to save the world. I'm not brave enough without you. That's rubbish. I've seen you shouting at people when you think they're being cruel. I've seen you shout at James. Shouting at a boy at school is different than facing he who must not be named. Everyone is scared. Florence didn't even come back this year. It's safe here. It's the safest here. She should have stayed. Now she'll be holed up in Cornwall, waiting it out. But you're not good at waiting. And honestly, neither am I. We're not. I refuse to wait around and fight a war on someone else's schedule. That doesn't mean I'm not scared. Our year is shrinking. So many didn't come back. In September, I was looking around the platform for Eleanor from Ravenclaw, the one with the brilliant knack for cheering charms. And I found out later that her parents took her entire family to America. And they're pure blood. I've lied to my parents about how bad things are. They're not subscribed to the prophet, so they don't see that horrible Skeeter woman's report. It's practically just a death toll of muggle-borns. It won't be you, Lil. It's alright if it is. As long as I go down fighting. But Alice... Not now. Not yet. I'm not ready. And life shouldn't stop for the sake of mulling around bemoaning our fate. Nor should we go charging out of one of Potter's secret passages to take on the Death Eaters ourselves. I've only come to say that I'm sorry for shouting. Particularly at you, Alice. Did James Potter just apologize? Only a little. Well, that's a relief. And I'm sorry for trying to stun you. But only a little. I'll be back later. Anyway, 
Everything's ready tonight. I knew you wouldn't be able to resist the prank. <laughs> what I'm sorry about is that we didn't manage to get that potion right. It sounded lovely. Imagine all the goblets filled with sparkling, bubbling drinks that look deadly, but taste different according to each person's tastes. <laughs> the definition of a harmless prank. Sadly, I'm rubbish at potions. Oh, I'm aware. I'm the one bringing the wolfsbane in the girls' toilet, remember? I don't suppose you could ask Snivellus to whip it up for us? <laughs> Certainly not. After that greaseball insulted the only person at Hogwarts who could stand him. Besides, he's been hanging around a rather dark crowd this year. I've never heard you say such things about him. When did you get so concerned about Severus anyway? I've just never seen you so... What? Angry. <laughs> James Potter, you are the most oblivious boy I've ever met. Just because I'm not throwing a fit every five seconds doesn't mean I'm not angry. I'm furious. I'm angry that Alice feels useless because she's a student. I'm angry that such a kind soul as Remus has to suffer so much because of the moon. I'm angry at whatever Death Eater killed Frank's father and he who must not be named for spreading such reckless hate. And I'm angry at Severus for being such a horrible friend. Snape is a git. He didn't know what he had. And what was that exactly? Someone clever. Someone brave. Someone so full of love. Your huge heart will save us all. I don't like that look, Potter. Which one? The one you're giving me right now. It's the same one you've got when you won at Quidditch. Lily Evans, you are hardly a Quidditch match. Just as long as you know I'm not the snitch. Not the thing you catch to win the game. You know I'm a chaser, right? No. <laughs> Just don't tell the marauders that I kissed you, alright? For now. I wouldn't dare upset the only prefect I know willing to cause a bit of havoc at the Halloween feast. I'd cause any havoc for Sirius. Alice, Remus, or any of you, and especially now, we need to find things to celebrate. We can't let the Death Eaters win today, and we won't let them win tomorrow. That love, that fierceness, that's so important. Never lose that. <laughs>